Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to track the focus and uh, match direct focus in your shot and make it matching to your source plate. So what do we have? We have a source plate, we have a trackers, uh, we have a huge rack focus and we have a little bit of camera shake in it. So let's go through the workflow. The first, uh, first part will be the stabilization and tracking the reference point. In this case I choose just this cross at the top of the image. The next step is uh, the huge uh, heavy color, color correction, heavy color grading. And uh, the last part is the tracking again. So let's go for the first step. The stabilization is important and it's important to make the stabilization very good. So we won't get any jitter or whatsoever. Basically in the real shots, you have to have a good track for your for your trackers if you're integrating some CG in. So I adjusted uh, this tracker a little bit just to make it uh, a bit more workable for me. And this area I'm going to track. So I'm grading image quite heavily to make this result. Getting rid of all soft areas, getting rid of all contrast, uh, all soft and make image contrasted. And I use blur just to get rid of the uh, noise in in the image. And I suggest you to add clump, just as a habit, for tracking. So now I'm going to uh, to track this point. I added the horizontal line so it will help me to track only X movement. And uh, let's have a look at the tracker. You can see that it works pretty well, catching all all jumps here. All these changes what you can see, this is the actual defocus. And it's easy, very easy to catch it now. So we don't need to do manual work. We just catch whatever we have in uh, in image. The very important moment is to choose the reference frame right. The reference frame in this case will be the, the most sharpened frame where you all almost have no defocus. The sharpest, the sharpest frame. So when we apply stabilize and the expression will work in a translate parameters here, we will get a curve starting from zero from reference frame and going up or down below zero or above zero depends on where the tracker is going. But we will change the, the negative values later on for, to make it work for defocus. So reference frame is the sharpest frame in your shot. Next step is uh, is applying the, some changes to the curve from uh, from tracking. So let's have a look at the at the curve. What do we have uh, from tracker? So basically, this is the rack focus happening in your shot. We can apply smooth on it, but you have to be careful with averaging values. You losing uh, you losing accuracy. So just find a good balance which is suit for you. So let's just, let's just play a, a little bit video and I will explain you what's going on in, uh, in that node. In, in this in this uh, in this node, I just created uh, user user knobs. So the first one is rack focus is just exactly the same uh, exactly the same parameters what we have in in tracker X. Multiply is uh, the factor of multiplication. So we're going to animate and multiply if we want to do that. So I added a couple of keyframes for this shot. And offset is the static parameter. It just match your your sharpest frame, match your reference frame to, to, to the values you want to add. And don't touch offset, but animate uh, multiply. And what we have in output is the source track X multiplied by multiply. And then with a simple expression, we, we're checking that if any values are below zero, we invert them and put them above the zero. And as you can see on the curve, 
this is ready to go uh, result to your defocus night. Yeah, I already told you this, guys, so no worries. You can play a little bit with offset. So you see, you just apply it once and uh, and that's it. Don't, don't, don't animate it. So you separate your, your workflow. You won't be confused with too many K-frames. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's just have a look at the result. So this is the right thing is the curve. Red curve is the curve of the defocus. And uh, we see the result and we see how sensitive it is. We can adjust it. We can apply smooth uh, uh, curve in, in, in tracker. Uh, we can track it better uh, to make a better matching. But this is just five minutes example. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, see you.